Hey guys, what's happening? What's popping? It's me, your queen of content, Trudik Tui. Welcome to the best online TV show. And I'm reporting live from Nyabuhanze, the village of content creators. I'm in Nyabuhanze. I came to visit tomorrow, as I told you. And you guys who are like, Trudy, when you come back without Davis Jr.'s interview, we will unsubscribe. And finally, Davis here. He's smiling. He's looking good. <laughs> and I'm happy also to meet him. At least we have some good time together. We want to know more about Davy Jr. Team Trudy, I got you. Davy, how are you? I'm doing fine. You Thank good? You. I'm fine. Oh, you're looking at me. Thank you. Uh -huh. I appreciate it. These guys have been looking for you for quite some time. They've been like, Trudy, we want to see Davy on your channel. Today, I'm here. You're here. Exactly. Hi Hello, guys. Hoping you're doing fine. My name is Davy Jr. I'm a content creator. Here in the village, but most of the time I've been staying in Nairobi. That's where I've been taking my studies. But I'm happy to be back here at home. Actually, I just graduated a wow. few days ago. Congratulations. How is the feeling? Ah, it's a nice feeling. I thank God for this far. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We know Devi as a content creator who really does an amazing job on YouTube. Before we get there, we want to know a little bit of you. Maybe you've done other interviews or we've shared a lot about you, but my fans, we would like to know more about you. Who is Devi? How is you? Uh, like when you growing up, how was life? And how is you doing right now? Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, for those who are watching me for the first time, I'm Devi, as I've said. I'm a brother to Ayam Marwa and my sister D Mwango, all the way from Jamaica. Big shout out to her. So life it has been amazing, though right now we really thank God. God has been so faithful. We've really made big moves in life, in which we have appreciate. It was already destined, and we have you. Mm -hmm. And how does it make you feel when you see yourself uh, a sibling to uh, the like Dimwango, Ayamarua? People, people love you like a whole family. Sure. People love you so much. How does it make you feel? I feel humbled. I feel honored. It's by God's grace. I do understand. That fever came to our family, and we never knew it one, one day, like, want to be like this. So that always keeps us humble, working hard, because we're always afraid to go back where we are, we were used to be. That is poverty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And people, uh, we want to know, you guys are so humble. When we start, as we start with Marwa, Dimwango, we have Devi here, you are so humble, like, I don't know why, can you give us a secret why you are that kind of, like, you have good hearts, you are so welcoming, you accommodate everyone. But I think it's because of our upbringing and also our parents, the values that they taught us. We never forget, like, where we came from. That keeps us humble and just trusting in the process, you know, because you can be back there. So, always being humble and just appreciate what life is. Mm -hmm. Maybe you've been a student, you just said you, gra you graduated a few days ago. And, and maybe uh, what pushed you to do content creation? And also maybe at what point did you realize now I can be a content creator? Okay, the inspiration came from my elder brother, Mara. He has been traveling all the while. When I, I used to see him in Los Angeles, New York, Miami, and I was like, oh, that is my brother. Me too, I can. So I got the inspiration from him. Actually, my first video on YouTube, he's the one who shot for me. And it really opened doors to me. It went viral. I got monetized within 24 hours. Imagine. Within 24 hours? Yeah. <laughs> That's the advantage of coming from uh, a YouTube family. So for me, it has been amazing. My journey it has been so smooth. I never struggle getting a thousand subscribers. Actually, my first video, I got 4,000 plus subscribers. Everything was okay, so I thank God. What can you say about your brother, Mara? Because he has really helped so many, let's say, YouTubers here in Nyabuhanze. And not only Nyabuhanze. Personally, I don't come from Nyabo, mm -hmm. but I can say Mara has really supported me as well, and I'm so happy for him. Maybe what can you say about your brother, like uh, bringing people together? Like right now, uh, people are so many in the villa. Mm -hmm. Other you, people have already opened their channel. They are, they are still growing. People mm -hmm. from the US are here because mm -hmm. of your brother. What can you say about that? He's a huge inspiration. To everyone here, like, everything is possible in this life. This is not where we used to stay. Maybe you don't know that. Don't know. 
is not where we used to stay. We used to be rained on. Not long time ago, I do remember my mama tell me she would run from school, wrap her mattress so that everything would want to be okay. So this is not where everything started. Maybe I'll be taking you where we used to stay. But um, right now, you won't get the true picture because I decided to demolish the house and come up with modern houses for income generation. So the house that the houses that you are building, the, that place is where you used to live? Exactly, exactly, yeah. It's at Nyabohansi Market. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you see your life right now, the VA, when you see your family, you have a beautiful home, you, ha you, are, you are driving a nice car, maybe what comes in your mind? Everything is possible. Dreams are valid. I'm a believer on that. Like life is like a coin. It can change any time, any time. Yeah, when you work hard, believe in yourself. Everything wanna align together. Mm -hmm. And of course, when you do something or when you are in uh, limelight, social media, definitely there are some of the challenges someone uh, go, goes through, like you face. You know, maybe can you share a little bit of? Some of the challenges you've gone through as Devi Junior. Being so one of the challenges that uh, is always in my mind, uh, in which I took it as an advantage to me to do myself, is uh, this person, I can't remember if he was a he or she, he told me YouTube is not my thing. But I was shy, like, how I used to carry myself. You know when you're on YouTube, every single day you are, Carried always doing it its side. So I decided to take it as a challenge and we are here to take it. Mm -hmm. Right now, what can you say about yourself as the beginning as a brand? You know, <laughs> live alone, you being Mara's brother or being mm -hmm. sister, mm -hmm. you as a brand. Okay, for me, I, I don't feel special actually. It's by grace of God we are here. Um, I'm looking forward to improve myself better and better. Mm -hmm. I'm not where I'm supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Big things are coming, projects. Actually, my ultimate goal is to live even Africa next year. Mm -hmm. Just to go out there and chase my dream. Mm -hmm. yeah. And actually, that is the question people, uh, your fans have been asking. Mm -hmm. You don't travel anywhere. Mm -hmm. Also, the team will be paid. Mm -hmm. What are your plans uh, now traveling? My plans for next year, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to show you guys country after country. Mm -hmm. It's confirmed. So it's all about time. And we want to be leaving Africa, not Kenya, but Africa. So, both of you want to leave your parents here? Yeah. Mm, for me, to be honest, I can't stay for a long time without seeing my mom mm -hmm. because she's a good friend of me. Mm -hmm. Despite being my mom, my mom always helps me to create videos here and there. So I really love my mom. Like I can't go for a long time without seeing her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are new car. How much did you mm -hmm. Maybe people can Google it. Okay, guys, I don't want to be judged with materialistic stuff mm -hmm. because they come and go. Mm -hmm. But it's a lot of money. Yeah. A, a lot, lot of, of money, money. Uh -huh. millions of money. A lot of money where people work so hard mm -hmm. to get. But this is a situation whereby God came in our family, really blessed us with a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And for me, I see it as a blessing, for sure. As I've said, it's just a gift to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about your relationship life. Or let's say status. Uh, <laughs> David, right now, mm -hmm. when, you know, do you have someone I are you dating? Let me just go to the point. I have a beautiful girlfriend. Uh -huh. My audience knows that. We shout out to baby Casta. She's so beautiful. Uh -huh. And you come from the same, um, maybe, place. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I'll, I'll have to talk to her. I'll look, where is she right now? She's in Nairobi. But I'm leaving home in a few, like, some hours from here. I want to be reuniting with her. Then we want to be, be back here with her. Mm -hmm. She has been here. She has met my sister D. Mm -hmm. She has met my brother Martha. She has met my parents. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, How is life being uh, in a relationship with me? Say, how are you doing right now? Actually, I'm dating my best friend. Mm -hmm. My best friend. Someone whom we knew each other, were, like, we were mm -hmm. in poverty. You know? So it's a good thing when you be with someone who has been there for you. She used to buy me clothes, so it's something exactly. So it's a good feeling when she sees the transformation here and there. She's always proud of me. 
Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, there is something that you learn. You say that you used to buy you clothes, and right now I know you can buy her anything that she wants. Yeah. What are some of the things you learn? Maybe uh, after she da- she da- she did that to you. Mm, actually, keeping it real, it's a good thing. And for me, I decided to give her an iPhone 15. Recently, wow. even two weeks, even just recently here. I learned that in re- in this life, mm-hmm. you have to be true to each other. Love anyone, regardless where he or she comes from, because the future is very unknown, mm-hmm. very tricky. Mm-hmm. So just live with each other to the fullest and with respect. Mm-hmm. And I know that right now ladies are in your DMs. <laughs> who never wanted to be with you, but right <laughs> now everyone wants to be with you. Oh, they really love you, you know. I want you to be mine. How how are you going about or how do you handle such maybe people who who are crashing on you? Ladies they want to be with you. I love them back. Uh-huh. So but for me I always keep it real to my those friends who have been there to me. Mm-hmm. Most of those things i see them as an illusion mm-hmm. i just know and ignore because i know my work and i know what i'm doing mm-hmm. yeah uh, where do you see yourself let's say in the next two years two years i see myself uh having a family to be honest mm-hmm. because my mom she's like she needs grandkids yeah mm-hmm. yeah we need even kids to play within our compound here mm-hmm. but i'm not intending to have a big family Maybe two kids or one is enough to me. Mm-hmm. So I see myself having a beautiful wife. And uh, I'm hopeful for the best. Yeah. Uh, we started the interview, said you really go, went through a lot. You struggled, mm-hmm. you are not the way you are right now. And uh, how true. does it make you feel when you see people like saying that all oh, you are uh, Illuminati, you mm-hmm. are, I don't know, doing what to get money, mm-hmm. it's not your hard work. How does it make you feel when you. Are those people things? their enemies of progress? Because when you are poor, no one could question our wealth mm-hmm. or uh, anything. Mm-hmm. But that keeps me grinding so hard just to prove like, wow, mm-hmm. you can like make it no matter your age. Mm-hmm. Like for me, most of the time, guys, we're shooting this video from the village. Yeah. Most of the people here, we have that village mentality. They believe like when you make it, you have to be smart. Yeah. You have to wake up very early in the morning to go to school. Mm-hmm. You have to like maintain your hairstyle, everything. Mm-hmm. So for us here, it's contrary, it's opposite to that. Mm-hmm. We are the way we are. We accept life how it is. And um, for me, I feel motivated when I, I hear or see them speaking about lies about our family. But surely it's pure hard work. Mm-hmm. And uh, content creation, it started a long time ago. But I feel it's a village mentality here. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're just flowing with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Lastly, maybe talk to your fans. I want you to go show us your car mm-hmm. with them, but talk to them. Or mm. we go, let's go with the car. Okay. You will talk to them when you have to wind up. Well, this is oh. our home. Yes, yeah. it's a, you can show them. This is a beautiful home. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 This is my baby. Actually, I decided to call this car Candy. I have a sister all the way from New York. Big shout out to her. Mm-hmm. She has been there for me since day one. So this car is called Candy. Mm-hmm. Just to honor her because I love her so much. Mm-hmm. is I can't wait to come to the U.S. next year just to say hello to you. I can't wait. Mm-hmm. So you decided to call the car Candy because yeah. I love her for her. Very true. And many, actually, I have a lot of friends around the world who support us in time of this. So I feel like when I do something very nice, I'll be naming people after that. Okay. Mm-hmm. So can you open the car? We want to hey. test the feeling. Uh-huh. So guys, this is how it is. This is my car. Uh, I'm not driving, guys. The reality, guys. This is how it looks. So this is the interior. Maybe Trudy, you can go inside. Yes, yeah, see, the other let side. me go inside. Oh, okay, guys. Oh, okay, guys. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. So, uh, this has always been my dream. Mm-hmm. These are the things that I used to see on Instagram 
on TV. But when you work hard, guys, these are the fruits. Okay. Mm -hmm. So these guys are from that local. It opens and closes the book. Okay, let me show you. So this is the key. It's just a... Okay, the car is on. So you want to open the yes. book? Yes, you can't Okay. <laughs> you too, you can't do it. So guys, the car is open. Hi. Yes. I'm 22. 22 years old. Yeah. <laughs> it's a nice feeling to boss up when you're young. I swear. As I told you, most of the people here they doubt what they are going to have. Mm -hmm. They keep pushing. We are not where we are supposed to be. But trusting the process. I told you I want to get a dream. But to be honest, maybe my next interview. Yeah. So maybe to. You see, I come now. The car is open. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the to Everything is automated. Yeah. Now today I carry children inside my car. And uh, just a little bit of the people who are My granny don't need this. I'm going to tell you that if you want something, you want it. I'm going to come and end it. Yes. Imagine, you are doing this for me. Oh, from here? Okay, so we're ending the video from here. Yeah, so As I take Trudy to my, my house that I'm building, yes, yes. maybe you'll feel motivated. True, true. That's yeah. why I want to go there, I want to see you. Mm -hmm. this is, you see that sure. that is where you are living and you are and yeah. you are mm -hmm. I can't wait to see it. So talk to them. And for us, we decided to live according to our needs. We decided to appreciate our humble beginnings and we are here today. And uh, we're living according to our means. No faking, no lying. One of the things that I really hate about content creators from Kenya, they fake a lot. Which is not a good thing. <laughs> they are not what they do. They are not living uh, like they are, the way they are supposed to. Yeah, and this life, you take it the way it is. Uh, very simple. And uh, just believing in God, everything want to align together. Yeah, guys. So what message do you have for me? Let's say you can be content creators also. Those uh -huh. who are aspiring to be content creators. Everything is possible in this life. Like for us, we came from a humble background. Like this is not where everything started. We used to be rained home. But uh, God came in our home and he really washed our tears and we are here today. So keep grinding hard. Everything is possible. Never allow negativity, the bad energy, like the friends, maybe the others may tend to be our friends, but in reality they are not. Cut them off, keep distance, and just work on yourself and things on our life together. Yeah. Right, baby, let's do this. Let's go see the house, then we'll end the video. Okay, guys. Enjoy. Yeah.